everyone and welcome back to my channel, Belicious Budgie. My name is Anna. I want to share with you all the drugstore makeup that I purchased during Ulta Spring Haul Sale. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. Upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And let's just go ahead and jump straight into the haul. We have a good mixture of new products and also some products I want to restock on. So one of them being the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I have my backup right there. So both times I was able to get it on sale for about 10 or $11. So about 40% off from the original price. I absolutely love this foundation. It has been my new go-to. You all know I love my Yensa Super Serum Seal Foundation, but that's like $46. And this is a very close alternative to it. So a little goes a long way. It is very full coverage. It says that it has a matte finish, but it's not too drying on the skin because I do have dry skin, but I think it's just like your skin, but better. So if you're looking for a good affordable foundation, never pay full price for it. Wait for it to go on sale. I highly recommend it. I'm in the shade 610. And I also want to give the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer another try. I remember filming a video about it two years ago and I forgot why I didn't like it because I remember returning it. Now I remember why. I'm actually wearing it today so my under eyes look very dark and the shade lighter is just too light for me. So one, I just can't find my perfect shade in it and two, it has a very thick formula to it. So I even tried using less product and just using more hydrating primers and such. It just kind of balls and peels and just does not look good on me personally. But again, makeup could work differently on different skin types, different primers. So if you're looking for a full coverage concealer, maybe this one will work for you or maybe it won't, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try, but I will definitely be returning this. Luckily, I picked up my go-to concealers. This is one of my holy grails. It's the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Vanilla. It's about $9 or $10. It's very creamy and hydrating. Does not crease my under eyes. Absolutely love it. So definitely check it out next time you're at Ulta. I got the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Finishing Powder. So I used this about two years ago as well, and I actually really love the powder, but I like trying new products and only having a couple at a time. So that way I can get my full use out of it and it doesn't expire. So I wanted a pressed powder and this was part of the buy two get one free sale at Ulta. So I'm super excited to have this back in my makeup collection and I'm in the shade light medium. Also, I picked up this lip drip fat oil. So I have the shade Miss Call. It looks so pretty online. It looks like a hot pink, which I thought would be perfect for the spring or summertime. And I do have two other colors in this. So I have the shade Follow Back and New Speed. So this one is more of a new shade and this one's a bright cherry red. Absolutely beautiful and they're pigmented and hydrating on the lips. I have been obsessed with lip oils lately, so I thought why not get another one. And I was running low on my Milani lipstick in the shade Passion, so I always wear this like on a daily basis or I just think it's like a very nice and professional shade. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's like the right shade of burgundy. So I was actually going to wear it for today's video, but I'm actually wearing another lip color from today's haul. This one would have matched my outfit and makeup look a bit more. But I wanted to switch it up a bit. So this was my old one. As you can tell, I'm running very low. So very excited that this one was on sale. And now we're diving into the new product. So I got this NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. So it's a shiny lip balm. I've been seeing it like on every social media platform and I want to give it a try. I'm wearing this shade today. I think it's a pretty color, just not on me personally. So. I'm going to return it and maybe just see what other colors that they have in store. It's also pretty hard to shop online and just see what works best for you. It looked more mauve online. It's still pretty though, and it is kind of like a thicker consistency. So just use a little bit because it kind of clumps up. I had to like remove some and reapply it. Anywho, I like it, just a different shade for me. So I'm just gonna return this for a different color. I was super excited to see that they had a face primer with SPF 30 in it. This is your reminder to apply actual sunscreen as well. Even though your makeup or beauty products may contain sunscreen in it, it's not enough. So the more, the better. So I actually use this like two or three times now. It does have a thicker consistency and it does smell a little bit like sunscreen, like a hint of coconut, but it doesn't bother me too much. It's not heavily fragrant, but if you don't like any type of scent, you probably won't like this one, but I like it. I'm going to keep using it. I'm happy to see that more makeup products are having SPF in it. And I'm actually wearing this as my foundation today. So it's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. And it has anti-aging hydrating serum. And it has SPF 50 with it. And I paired it with the NYX primer, which also has SPF 30. 
And before that, I put on my Elta MD SPF 41. So we are nice and protected from the sun over here. So this has really good coverage and I think this is perfect for the summertime. I love that it has SPF 50 in it, which is a pretty high amount. So I definitely hope this goes on sale again because I would purchase more in the future. I know I'm late to the party, but I wanted to see what the hype was about with the Touchland hand sanitizer. So I picked up the scent Wild Watermelon. So these were $8, so I'm super excited to give it a try. And even though this wasn't part of the sale, I picked up the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Sang Spray. I have mixed feelings about it. I only use it about twice now, but it has a very fine mist. It's so fine at times, I think, is anything coming out, but it does say on the bottle, shockingly fine mist. So I'm just gonna keep using it because all I had was my Charlotte Tillsbury and my Urban Decay setting spray. So I wanted a more affordable one for more everyday wear. And then also with my purchases, I did get some freebies. And I feel like back in the day, if you met like the minimum spending amount, the free gift was automatically added. But I feel like now you have to know about it and physically add it yourself. Let me know if you remember that, but good thing I caught it or I checked before I checked out because there have been times where I checked out and then I saw after the fact that I didn't claim my free gift. So let me show you all the freebies that I got. I do apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of these names. So we have the Zit Sticka Acne Patch. I think I'm going to give this to one of my teenage cousins. And then also we have this Ultimate Miracle Worker. Oh, SPF 30 sunscreen. I'm definitely gonna add this to my travel makeup bag and use during the summertime. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing that, but it says eye contour care. So I think it's like to prevent like crow's free. It says to like apply up here. I don't know really. So I'll see who wants that. And then also we have this tea tree hemp hair and body oil. Okay, this actually seems pretty interesting. So I definitely would love to give this a try. And then also we have the Origins Brightening Eye Cream. So I normally don't use eye cream, but if I get them in like freebies or these Ipsy subscriptions, then I'll use it. But I don't really go out of my way to purchase eye cream. And then we have this Half Magic Mascara. The box looks pretty cool. Oh my goodness, this is a huge freebie. So it's a good molecules body serum. So I'm excited to use this because I do have dry skin. And then we have this Redken Liquid Mask. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that either, but it is a hair detangler, which I will definitely use. And then we have this Benefit Brow Gel. I'll probably give this to a friend because I don't really use brow products. And then also we have this Joyco Power Spray Fast Dry Finishing Spray. So I will definitely use this as well. I love the ombre bottle, it is very pretty. And then we have this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Cream. And then we have this Retinol Night Moisturizer. This is so cute, I love this bottle. I definitely want to reuse it for something. So it's the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. Never heard of it, but I'm excited to use it. I had no idea this was in there, I'm super excited. So I do like Kylie's Liquid Lipsticks, the newer formula. So they are a lot better than the previous one. So this is the shade Mary Jo, which is a bright red shade. So so I have the full liquid lipstick, so I'm gonna add this to my travel makeup bag, but I just thought that was so cute and I love the size of it. And as everything that I purchased during Ulta Spring Hall Sale, let me know in the comment box down below what your favorite product was or what you purchased during Ulta Spring Hall Sale. I would definitely love to know. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye, everyone.